Hi, my name is Dargan Gilmore. I'm the co-founder of Toward Zero Waste, and I'm here today at Esteemed Coffee to talk with our current executive director, Kathleen Leibowitz, about some exciting legislation that's in the House. Kathleen, tell us a little bit more about the zero waste legislation that's currently in the North Carolina House. Well, House Bill 679, which is called the Customer Opt-in for Single-Use Foodware, essentially this bill would have it that customer would need to ask for plastic utensils when they go into a restaurant. So instead of just having all the plasticware always given to you, you have to ask for it. I believe this would help the restaurant owners because they would not have to buy um, all the plasticware to give out. It would also help the consumer that they will not have a drawer full of plastic utensils at their house. And I'm sure all of that plastic ends up in the landfill. And I know I certainly have a drawer full that I don't know what to do with. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how this legislation came into being? Well, working with Toward Zero Waste, we talked to a variety of people. And a, a lot of people have come to us and say, we just have so much plastic wear from the time that during COVID, when a lot of us wanted to support restaurants and we got uh, takeout and we just got a lot of the plastic utensils. And with that, it kind of made me think about how we could solve this problem. And I attended a webinar that was presented by Beyond Plastics, which is a nonprofit out of Vermont. And the webinar talked about a skip the stuff model bill that was started by Upstream, which is based in California, and they wanted to share their model bill. So I looked at it and I thought, this is really what we need to do. And I was fortunate enough to meet a representative, Julie Van Hafen, last fall. And she said, this sounds like a great idea. Please come to my office, make a meeting with me, and we can work on this. So I made the meeting. I showed her the model. And we decided that we needed to make sure there wasn't anything in the model that was against North Carolina law. So she ran it through the legal team. And then she ran it through the drafting team, which wrote it up as a house bill. And she filed it for us. Um, April 18th of this year. For more information and resources related to House Bill 679, including a letter you can use to send to your legislators, head to towardsyourwaste.org slash HB679 and don't forget to follow Towards Zero Waste on social media for ongoing updates about the progress of this legislation.